Today we're making a photo dump dress, more specifically an A-line mini shift dress adorned with 540 phone photos, each individually encased in UV resin and cured, inspired by Space Age couturiers André Courage and Paco Rabanne. Let's begin. I loathe nostalgia, the fabulous Diana Vreeland had once proclaimed, yet she hadn't laid eyes on this photo I took of two dogs behind the wheel of a Tesla. I created a folder for each month and populated them with the best of the worst, and adjusted the crop for each photo individually, because I'm a control freak. Export. Print. Then the classic A4 sandwich. Invisible foil laminate on top, a humble layer of glue, black card, chopped up into manageable strips. The internet is home to many a treasure, none as subjectively enticing as this two inch circular hole punch for kids that I found. Perfect for my one woman sequin factory. Each one coming out like a perfect coin. The currency, memory. After the mama hole punch comes the baby hole punch. Each coin requires a hole to be attached to our dress later. Finally, it's time for the kahuna, resin. But first, safety. Gloves, mask, and a well-ventilated space. We're gonna need a mat, coin molds with holes in them, resin, and a UV lamp. Method one, the hamburger. A layer of resin into the mold. UV light, 90 seconds. Add photo patty to the resin bun. Add a splash more resin. UV light, 90 seconds. Flip. UV light, 90 seconds. Remove. Repeat. Method two, the toast. Place coins down facing up. Apply resin on each. UV light, 90 seconds. Done. Resin only applied on one side as an overall weight reduction and management strategy. And that's how memories are waterproofed. For the front of the dress, I'm using this dark denim, strong enough to hold the weight of my past. For the pattern, I drafted this one myself, based on the super short mini dresses of Andre Courage. Architectural, simple, spacey. I assembled the front panels first so that we have this long canvas to work with. I notched up the seams and then pressed them open with the help of a tailor's ham. I then pressed flat and basted down the bottom hem since it might be hard to get to a crisp straight press once everything is added on later. Now we can attach our coins. I used only hamburger coins at first, then realized that A, I would run out, and B, it was going to be really heavy, so a pivot was in order. One hamburger for every three toasts. The interval between each row and coin marked with a water-soluble pen. This was a good time to finally begin the Dune audiobook, which is 21 hours long. Unlike his contemporaries, who still used traditional couture techniques for their futuristic designs, Paco Rabanne created with new production methods informed by novel post-war industrial materials. Instead of fabric or pelts, he preferred plastics and metals. His first 1966 haute couture show was a manifesto in this new age materialism. Twelve unwearable dresses and contemporary materials. Modern chain mail for the intergalactic warrior and social butterfly. Barbarella wore metal mesh while Audrey Hepburn danced in the disc. Vogue wrote at the time, he is constantly working on his idea of redoing the world. He feels that there is not one single thing that cannot be reconsidered or redone in a more modern way. I'm as shocked as you are that I remember to cut out and attach some front collar facing before we reached the top. It would have probably resulted in a boulevard of broken dreams. In 1964, Courage unveiled his Space Age collection. He had worked at the house of Balenciaga just before that and had absorbed Cristobal's preference for a line that was pure, sharp, and mathematically designed. You don't walk through life anymore. You run, you dance, you drive a car. Clothes must be able to move too, said he. He was influenced by modernism, futurism, the American dream of heading to space. I marked clear margins under both arm openings and continued assembling. For the back, I actually ran out of denim, so I opted for this hefty carpet-like fabric that was weighty enough to balance out the heavy load in the front. Some strict surging to manage the fluff. Then for the fastening in the back, three sets of velvet ties instead of a zipper, just because. I 
And now we can attach the lining, mostly fell down by hand since things are more controllable this way. To finish up our imperfect masterpiece, some cleanup, a name tag, because I'm 30 going on three, a final stoic press, and a little fidget. Chaotic, but still a control freak here. We're finally done. A year's worth of phone photos are now freed from the shackles of my camera roll, much to the satisfaction of my iCloud storage. Immortalized, cemented, resined up, and into this little black memory dress. Now, instead of walking down memory lane, I can wear memory lane. Is that too cheesy? I also made this little black rough collar to go with my clownery. While the world goes mob wife, I'm going clown life. I hope you enjoyed this little spiel of a dress. I like referencing my favorite fashion history moments and figures in ad hoc ways. So if you're into this, subscribe to see more. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.